So this is the final iteration. I had a little cord channel here, so that way the cord from the wireless uh, charger can have a place to kind of sit in, go to. Just makes a little bit cleaner look. When I actually put it in place. Um, so the print out, the 3D print is this plus these four pieces. These are just kind of little wedge shapes that are going to be um, glued. I'm going to actually epoxy them in all four corners. That'll just be kind of a little uh, little wall to keep the phone from moving. Um, I don't suspect that the phone will move much. But uh, these are the 3D printed parts, and I want to show this was the uh, set of iterations that I went through. Uh, first one, just to make sure this fit. I had to make the channel down here a little bit smaller. Bad print. Finally got a good print. It fit nice, um, but I want a little bit uh, wider top. So I printed out this one, just a little bit wider top. And I also had to figure out the length to make sure everything was going to fit uh, with, the, with the wireless charging pad. And still have room for the phone to go on top. Now I'm just going to uh, epoxy these in place with some five minute epoxy. And uh, once it dries, I'll get it set up in the truck. Uh, I wanted to mention that this little raised part there, this is the part that sits into the, uh, the console cover. Um, basically, it kind of wedges it in place and keeps it in place along with the... Uh, slope sides that match the uh, profile of where the where I would like to put my phone uh, and the middle console there. Um, it fits pretty snug, uh, so I don't think I'm going to do anything else. Uh, if it starts to slip, I, I might put some uh, plastic dip on the sides here. And that'll give a little bit of a kind of a grippy texture, which I think will be plenty to keep it in place, but I don't foresee it moving. Uh, I'll show it uh, once it's in place and installed. Uh, it feels pretty firm, so uh, I don't think I'll be doing much of that. Line it up right in the corner there. And that's what it's going to look like. Now I just have to let that uh, epoxy cure and I'll be good to go. The epoxy has cured and this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, in order to attach this to the cradle, I'm going to use uh, some Velcro. Velcro on here and Velcro on here. And that's so uh, I can keep this. If this goes bad, I can just switch it out with, an, with another one. That's what happened to the last one I had. Um, the charging pad went bad. And uh, then I had to pretty much throw away the whole unit because it was, it was all kind of glued together. But this way I can uh, keep this and uh, get me a new one of these if, that's, if this goes bad. So just going to put some of these down. And put this down to match, and that'll do it. I installed this USB plug in uh, the previous video, and that's what I'm going to use to uh, connect the wireless charger up to. Then I'm going to uh, run the wire through here. And uh, cover it there. I'll show it in a minute. So that's what it looks like uh, installed. It's in there pretty snug. Uh, it doesn't move around. Now we're gonna try it out. I don't know if you heard that, but uh. It's working.
and here you go wireless charging in my truck and this is always where I put my phone so it's actually uh, couldn't be any better <laughs>